purchasing a discount tire right now, waiting for our friend Brad to come scoop us up and take us back home. Beatles. I get by with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends. Remember that song? It's fucking true. Do you have friends that help you get by and or high? I was, I've been talking about the, the issue with me in relation to, like, romance and stuff. I think, like, I've always been, like, hardcore aware of the fact that, like, I was supposed to do something really, like, out there. Like, I just remember having that sort of premonition when I was very young, like, six or seven, and just thinking, like, you're going to be important one day. You're going to do something really important. Like, you're really going to stand out in some kind of way. I didn't know what that entailed. It's just like, I knew, okay, don't be with anybody, don't get pregnant, don't get married, don't sign a contract, don't get too involved with something that you can't remove yourself from. So, you know, I have this tattoo, <laughs> this Freemason tattoo, thank you, Bill Wilson. Now, uh, he started this whole 12-step program that... I was part of, but I was thinking about like, you know, my hatred towards women, I'm like, why do you have this disdain for females, like, such a strong disdain, um, well, I find women really annoying, but it's not just annoying, like, they're very, very, um, abusive, like, emotionally and verbally abusive, and I can you know, count on maybe, like, one hand all the dudes that have, have hurt me, like, really, really hurt me, and it's like, because I was dating them, you know, and I, I was a cunt, too, so, once again, I take full responsibility, but, you know, I'm not going to be mad at them because they were an asshole to me, what the fuck ever, but women, it's like, when women hurt you, they really fucking hurt you, because women are supposed to be nurturing, they're not supposed to stab you in the back, they're not supposed to drop you whenever your existence gets inconvenient because you relapse, okay? Um, I'm just saying. I'm allowed to hate women because this opinion is correct. Most women are not really good. And now, I mean, the ones that are, though, like, I really appreciate them, you know? Ronit. Ronit was, like, one of the first people I call you know, when I'm in the shitter, you know, when I'm, like, troubled, I call her. And it's good to have a good girlfriend, because, you know, like I said, women are very trustworthy, so when you find one that is, that's just really nice. It's just so rewarding, you know, emotionally. It's emotionally rewarding because, like, I'm just so used to being mistreated by women. And, and it's because I'm not a typical female, because I'm, I'm a man inside my head. So I don't know if my, like, my own, like, you know, personal, like, sentiment towards society in relation to, like, being alone and all that. I don't, I don't know if that's because of gender but I'm sure that it probably has something to do with it, along with, like, the whole asexuality. So, like I said, sometimes I wish I wasn't this way, but it's like, well, what else, what, what else are you going to do? Like, how else are you going to be? You can't not be yourself, you stupid ass. You know? It's just like, you better just accept these things about yourself that are hard to accept. Or just find a way to tweak them to make them cool, you know? But...
Huh. I can't wait to eat again, you guys. <laughs> he should be here any moment now. He's very, very prompt. He's extremely type A. So he's like the complete opposite of both me and Ronit combined. <laughs> he's so type A that he's like two people. So he's like me and Ronit, only both of those crazy ass women are type A. Can you imagine? But he's, he's a dude. He's a dude. Dude, I really like this album. It's so good. Okay, let's see. When did he call? When did I last speak with him? 37 minutes ago. He should probably be here in like five minutes. But anyway. Yeah, so I, I called Ronit, I called Brad, and I called Judson. I don't have the heart to take the sticker off. It's been there for like years. <laughs> really? Years? I think it's been there for like maybe eight months. Since last winter. Yeah. Dude, I can't believe it. last winter it seemed like it was like a week ago and now it's here. You know? Can you imagine how much more time is gonna get sped up and how like how surreal and like just terrible everything's gonna be. Like, I, I listen to a lot of old ass music and I'm not one of these obsessively nostalgic types, no matter how like my lifestyle presents itself. It's like, I still accept, you know, that everyone, everyone else in the world decided to go the smartphone route, you know? But it's like, I avoid things as much as I can and I just live in my own little world. So I can't imagine like sharing that with somebody, you know? And it's not because I'm against the idea of it. Like I want that for other people. Like I want you to fuck, you know? I want you to, I want you to make babies if you're gonna fucking raise them. You know, that'd be awesome. I'll like babysit your kids, you know? Like, I just, I don't want kids of my own. That just seems like the worst idea. It's probably him. Hello. 